We now fast forward to a melding of classical tradition with today's high-tech world of business and science. Dr. Linda Ricketts recently visited with Beth Cross, president of Ariat International. When we started Ariat seven years ago, we set out to create and continue to define and redefine uh, the most technically advanced footwear for equestrian athletes. Uh, ten years ago, there was no uh, athletic riding footwear available for athletes, either English or Western. Uh, Western riders were competing in boots that hadn't been redesigned or updated in over a hundred years. The same was true for English riders. So we saw the athletic industry had footwear for basketball, running, aerobics, volleyball, beach volleyball, and yet there was no walking, and yet there was no athletic footwear for riders, and riding is a very athletic sport. And so we saw an opportunity to take the key requirements of riders and match technology to that and give them a better uh, riding boot. And so the key operating philosophy for us at Ariat is to continue to innovate and make the most technically advanced riding footwear in the world. My partner and I started Ariat in 1992 and we were both riders and we had both experienced um, which is a very common experience for many riders where you're wearing your tennis shoes or your athletic shoes to the barn and then once you're there you change into your riding boots uh -huh. once you're finished riding you change back into something more comfortable and so there were two things really one was that there was no comfortable footwear for mm -hmm. riders and secondly there was no performance uh, footwear available for when you were competing and we were working as consultants at the time and our client was Reebok and mm -hmm. of course working with Reebok they are they were one of the leaders and continue to be one of the leading athletic brands we learned about technology we learned about how the biomechanics of ath athletes in different mm -hmm. types of sports would call for different types of technology and we had the idea of putting the two together and developing a brand new company targeted against equestrian athletes with footwear. We're the first company that's treated riders like athletes and I think that that really it hadn't been done before and, and you know they've always heard the horse does all the work and here came somebody that said hey we know you're doing a lot of work we want to help you out. There's a key uh, technology in our footwear that we call ATS for advanced torque stability and essentially if you think about it it's very important for your footwear to deliver three things when you're a rider. Number one you need um, cushioning and you need cushioning in the forefoot and the heel. In the forefoot when you're in the stirrup that forward part of the foot takes a tremendous amount of wear and tear and in the heel because riders spend a lot of time on the ground walking, running, chasing their horses, uh, <laughs> chasing each other and so you absolutely need product that's good on the ground as it is in the stirrup and so we provide cushioning uh, for both uses. Secondly, we have a technology, um, a shank system that provides stability to the footwear through the mid-range so that your foot won't torque and this is a, um, it's a forked a shank system that uh, sits in the middle of the shoe and the boot and it really prevents that kind of torquing and twisting that you get in many types of shoes that are made on regular steel shanks and once your foot is stable then you pr it gives you tremendous comfort and support all through the foot the leg and the lower back and it, it really prevents fatigue and injury uh, not only to your feet um, but your legs and your back and then finally we build in uh, durability into this product because when you're out in the barn in the stable these are not friendly environments um, <laughs> on your footwear right. and so we created an outsole that could withstand the rigors of really any kind of condition um, when you're working around animals and so we have uh, our ATS technology gives you cushioning, it gives you stability and it gives you good durability. Riders are very um, they're very conscious of the look of their products. They have a very refined sense of taste and, uh, how should I say, vision for their product. And so it's actually very easy to marry technology um, with great looks because there is tremendous things about the equestrian world, both English and Western, that are very traditional looks that are very classic and timeless. On the English side, you take a beautiful paddock boot or a tall riding boot. and um, these are fashions and designs that have been around for a long, long time and they're just wonderful. And what we do is we take the very classic styling elements and 
we use that in our boots, but we introduce technology to the classic um, traditional look. The same is true on the western side. We take a very authentic looking traditional western boot and we put the technology into that product. So instead of trying to change the fashion or the design aesthetic of the rider, we in instead bring the technology and marry it with the design aesthetic and the fashion. And so we end up with just beautiful products. My husband and I have three children, um, all of which have been born since the company started. So we have a young family, which is not uncommon here at the company. We have many uh, working families, working moms, working dads that have young children. Um, when we started the company, nobody had kids, and now I think we've probably got about 25, oh, almost really? 30 kids running around, not here at the office, right. but uh, <laughs> at home. Um, and really the people here, we work very hard, so our commitment is to the business, to our families, um, and to the industry, because one of the good things about working in the equestrian industry is you get a chance to really spend time out in the field, at horse shows, at events, etc. So uh, many of us who have a lifelong interest in horses uh, get a chance to really enjoy and immerse ourselves um, at work in something that would otherwise be considered a hobby. The U.S. represents less than half of the total global um, market or, uh, or rider um, population. Uh, the, there are about 8 million Americans that ride regularly, but there's at least uh, 10 to 12 million um, outside of the U.S. that also ride, have horses, and, and ride regularly. So really, international is a, a very significant opportunity for the Ariat brand. Since we are um, Americans, we've started our business here, and um, so this represents the bulk of our business right now. But we have a very good business in Australia, um, a very strong business in Canada and the UK, and uh, that's just going to continue to grow. Just as you might look at another footwear company such as a Nike or Adidas and see the tremendous um, evolution of technology that mm -hmm. they've developed over the course of time for runners or basketball players, etc., you'll see a similar um, evolution in technology here at Ariat. I think many of us came to Ariat with a desire to create a great company um, and to really create a company that could be a great brand, make great products, really make a difference in people's lives. And whether or not it was specific to footwear, um, I can't say, but the idea and the dream of making a great company and having an impact has definitely been a goal. And we feel like we've made a lot of progress against that. And as um, is not unusual with people like us, we have a great, we feel like we've got a long way to go too. Um, we have an incredible team of people mm -hmm. here running and managing this business. And uh, we have very ambitious goals for ourselves for the next couple of years. So that in itself, setting goals and achieving those goals is a real dream for all of us. Thank you.